boss! Huh? Is something up, Florent? I've got something urgent to report. Romeu and his folks have gathered outside Poisson and even shipped in a huge pile of explosives. What? Explosives? What do they want? It seems like they've been planning this for some time. We started investigating as soon as we received your letter yesterday. But Romeu and his folks must have gotten wind as well, because they abandoned their former posts before we could even check on them. We investigated their tracks and found out that they're after Poisson. Could they have smartened up since we caught them red-handed at the court? Seems like they've got no interest in sitting down and talking at all. We should have gone straight to the Maison Guardianage. Sorry, I, I underestimated the situation. Well, too late now, I suppose. Florent, where are they keeping their explosives? On the hill to the east of Poisson, near the Clementine Line. They want to blow up the Clementine Line? Certainly sounds like it. Romeu and his followers hate the Spina and everything to do with Callus, and the Aquabus was the source of their contention. If they manage to blow up the Aquabus line, all that rubble will come crashing down the hill and straight into Poisson. Are they insane? There's tons of innocent people in Poisson! Yeah. If they've been planning this for ages, they're definitely not going to let this opportunity slip by. We have to issue an evacuation order to the townspeople, and get them as far away from the entrance as possible. That should save them from the worst of it. Let's get everyone onto our ship. That should be the safest place. <sighs> My dear partner, can I leave the Clementine line to you? If the explosives do go off, not only would the people of Poisson be in danger, any aquabuses using the line would plummet to the ground. Let's stop their insanity first, then settle the score with them. Leave it to us, Navia. Please stay safe, too. Let's go, you two. We've got to act fast. Miss Coralie, please take Adele to the ship. Watch out, boss! <sighs> what do you think you're doing, Coulter? I thought all the annoying little hindrances had left, but I still couldn't get rid of you. Uh, you mean this was all a trick? So that you'd be left alone with me? Coulter, are you with Romeo too? Oh. <laughs> I get it now. You knew about their plans all along. You only told us they were doing badly so that we'd drop our guard. Not quite. Though I share their positions on some issues, I've never cared for his more radical ideas. And that's because, out of the entire Spina di Rosula, I only hate you. Only you, Navia. You better stick close to me. Romeu promised me that he would leave Poisson alone if I could just take you out. But it was like you were glued at the hip to that pesky traveler. You never gave me a chance to make my move. Romeu has lost his patience. I didn't have to be here today, you know. But I swore that I'd kill you, even if it meant being buried with you in the rubble. Why? Only someone as clueless about the past as you would ask such a foolish question. You never saw the heyday of Spina di Rosula, nor did you ever live through the golden age of Poisson. But I, I saw it all with my own eyes, and then I had to watch it all die, little by little. And it was all because of you, Navia. Clementine died because of you. Callus died because of you. Malus and Silver died because of you. And so many more dead. Everyone dead. All because of you. 
So the shock and grief you showed us before, that was an act too? Now you're catching on. I heard Malus was dead the moment I got out. Did you know, down there in that blasted fortress, I spent a long time thinking about what happened and resolving to apologize to Malus as soon as I got out. Back then, because of that aqua bus, we had a huge fallout. I was convinced that all he cared about was loyalty, and that he had completely lost his capacity for critical thinking. The years passed by in a blur after that. I thought I had finally begun to understand him, and that he could help me relive the good old days again. But then he died, and it was because of you again, Navia! It's always because of you! <laughs> I once loved the Spina and Poisson more than anyone else. But what is left now of either besides death and ruin? You've single-handedly destroyed everything that was beautiful. Everything I've ever loved! Don't listen to him, boss! He's just spouting nonsense! Have you ever considered that maybe the people around you don't actually care about you at all? Have you ever considered that maybe you only get respect because you're Callus and Clementine's child? That you've never done anything worthy? That you're just a big nothing? Have you ever considered that maybe people don't stay in Poisson because of you, but only because they have such beautiful memories of the past before you came? Because if you do falter, there'll inevitably come a time when you'll have to face the consequences. And when that time comes, those most precious to you really will throw themselves in front of you and pay the price for your mistakes. <laughs> yeah, looking back on it now as an adult, I can hardly believe how patient and kind everyone was. Is that really why they support me? Is their kindness... real? Shut your mouth! I, for one, really like Miss Navia! And my mom loves her too! Uh. I don't know how to explain it, but I like her! And that's that! I'm sure Mr. Malus would be extremely disappointed in you right now! You've somehow managed to pin the blame for every mistake and tragedy in our history on the boss herself! Get out of the way, Florent. I don't want to hurt you. You're gonna have to! Boss, there's no time for this! Stop hesitating and get out of here before you get buried! Maybe you think you're being the realist by painting the history of the Spina and Poisson like this. But the love that I felt from everyone was just as real. I felt it. They've helped me get to where I am. And even now, I will continue to believe in that love. So let me show you just how much I love the Spina di Rosula. <laughs> <laughs>